I remember the first time putting on a packable puffer jacket. It felt like I was wearing nothing. It was so lightweight, yet I was warming up really quickly because I was indoors at the time. This is when I knew that these types of jackets were a game changer for travel, hiking, and everyday carry. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, your guide to better gear. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and ringing that bell icon for notifications. In this video, we're gonna be talking about why packable puffers are great and the considerations that go along when selecting one. Plus, we're gonna be looking at eight different packable puffers as well, if you're looking for one. This video is sponsored by Backcountry, who carry all the jackets featured in this video, along with tons of other gear. Plus, they're offering a discount on your first purchase, but more on that later. As always, the picks, content, and opinions are our own. We'll leave links to all the jackets down below if you wanna check them out on backcountry.com. Let's dive in. Packable puffy jackets have an incredible warmth to weight ratio and a lot of them can self-compress into their own pocket to stuff into your bag when not in use. This is great if you're trying to travel light across multiple climates or if you're trying to pare down your hiking loadout. When it comes to warmth and weight, fill power is the name of the game. This number typically ranges from 300 to 700, though there are some very high fill power jackets out there, some even up to 1,000. The higher the number, the warmer the jacket will be, as long as the weight is the same. If you compare a 600 fill power jacket to an 850, and both the jackets weigh the same, the 850 will be warmer. But a 600 fill power jacket can be warmer than an 850 if more of the fill material is used. It'll just be heavier and bulkier. If you're preparing for a long through hike and trying to get everything as light as possible, this is a very important consideration. If you're heading out on a road trip and just want to pack the jacket a little bit more neatly into your bag, a couple of extra ounces isn't going to matter much. Some types of fill are goose down and others are completely synthetic, free from animal product entirely. Goose down is, hands down, the best warmth to weight ratio out there. Geese need to stay warm in the coldest of temperatures, yet still be aerodynamic enough to fly. Down creates a bunch of little air pockets that aid in trapping warm air that comes from body heat. This is where the term loft comes from. The main problem with down is the ethical sourcing of it. The Responsible Down Standard is an organization aimed at improving the feather industry and driving demand for more ethical treatment of ducks and geese. A lot of brands are part of this certification. Some companies will also allow you to track the specific batch of down used in the creation of your jacket with a tool like trackmydown.com. You just pop on the site, type in the number, and you can see the source of your down. With all this being said, goose down is a lousy when wet, and that's where synthetic fill comes in. But ethical and sustainable production is still a big consideration with this type of fill. A lot of brands are starting to use post-consumer recycled materials instead of virgin petroleum directly from the earth. Most synthetic fill is comprised of polyester insulation. This was invented in the 1980s when the US Armed Forces was looking for a fill material that held up better than down in wet and inclement weather. We already learned that packable puffer jackets have some great warmth to weight ratio and are easy to carry, but how about some other considerations that go along with them? First, these jackets have a sportier look to them, which may or may not be your thing. Before getting into these, I used to wear a navy pea coat, which looked rad, but it was really heavy. Next, they can be a little bit slippery and slide around a bit. These can ease in taking your backpack on and off, but if you usually carry around a tote or a messenger bag that's already slipping off an ordinary cotton t-shirt, a packable puffer jacket is going to amplify that. The packability of these is awesome, but if you leave them compressed for too long, the fill can start to break down and lose its effectiveness. These jackets are best hung up when not in use and best if left uncompressed whenever possible. The materials used with these types of jackets are typically delicate. It's easy for them to get zipper bite even from themselves or by zipping it up into a packed backpack. Additionally, a lot of these down jackets will start to lose their fill at the seam points. This is called down seepage. And these jackets need to be cared for in a careful and specific way so that they don't rip and so that the down insulation doesn't lose its insulating properties. Now that we know a little bit more about packable puffer jackets, let's get into some mini reviews. 
All these products are available over at backcountry.com. We've been testing these a lot as we get into the colder months this season and are always looking to try new gear while exploring the outdoors and living our everyday lives. We strive to be your guide to better gear. Backcountry shares the goal of helping you find exactly what you need. They have tons of gearheads available 24 seven via email, phone, and website chat to answer your questions and help you find the right gear for your next adventure. This includes former Olympians and athletes, guides, and other people with a passion for the outdoors. Backcountry has also teamed up with the Nature Conservancy that helps protect the lands and waters across the world. You can donate on checkout over at backcountry.com. We dig it. All this being said, we're partnering with Backcountry to help you get outside, take it all in, and find your backcountry, wherever that may be. Use the code down in the description below, packhacker15, to take 15% off of your first order at backcountry.com. Some restrictions may apply. That's 15% off jackets, bags, and other gear from a bunch of brands, including Arcteryx, The North Face, Cotopaxi, Patagonia, and more. Speaking of a bunch of brands, let's get into the individual jackets. The Patagonia Micropuff is the lightest hooded jacket on this list, and it also packs up to be the smallest of the hooded jackets. One of the things I like about the hood is how it turns with my head. Other packable puffers leave extra space inside of the hood for a hat or helmet and don't turn well with your head. This jacket uses plumophil, which closely mimics the properties of Goose Down. Even though it's fooled some seasoned testers, Patagonia is the first to admit that plumophil is not as good as regular down. From a features perspective, the Micropuff includes two interior pockets with elastic on the top, plus two zippered pockets on the outside with the jacket compressing into the wearer's left. When compressed, there's a small piece of sturdy webbing to attach to a carabiner or the like. This webbing feels sturdier than some other jackets on the list. I've personally tested this jacket for about nine months across two seasons of cold weather, and it's been with me on a lot of my trips. With that, we can examine some natural wear and tear that happens with packable puffer jackets. You can see a couple of loose threads, the plumophil is starting to come out at some of the seams, and it doesn't feel quite as lofty as it used to be due to it being compressed for longer periods of time. It's certainly still usable and I will continue to use this jacket for the winter seasons to come. We also have a full review of this one over on the website, so make sure to check that out if you wanna know more details. Cotopaxi is a brand that takes sustainability and ethics seriously. Their Fuego jackets are created with RDS certified down and they use recycled materials in a lot of their other products as well. This can lead to some pretty funky colorways. We've been testing the Fuego in the graphite colorway, which has a white and blue stripe across the front. Recently, I took this jacket on a road trip from Michigan to Minnesota for a little cabin life. Cabin life disclaimer, use caution when wearing these types of jackets at the campfire Ashes can fly and melt little holes in the fabric. This jacket has a bit of a funky feel to it due to the colorways offered, and the YKK zippers have a little white dipped end to them. The jacket packs up neatly into the interior zip pocket for safekeeping. Additional design details include a zipper garage on the collar, a locker loop for hanging the jacket up, and a bungee cord at the bottom to lock in warmth. Mountain Hardware was founded in 1993 by former employees of Sierra Designs. They've been making gear for outdoor enthusiasts ever since. And they continue to do so after being acquired by Columbia Sportswear in 2003. The Ghost Whisperer 2 jacket is no exception, being a simple, solid, and no frills jacket. The fill of this jacket uses 90% goose down and 10% goose feathers, both of which are RDS certified. The exterior features a 10D recycled nylon with a DWR finish for added weather resistance. The collar is nice and puffy and fits nicely around the neck when zipped up. Plus, there's a zipper garage to avoid that metal to skin contact when the weather gets cold. There are two zippered pockets on the outside and the jacket self compresses into the right one. One of the things that sets this jacket apart from the rest is the minimal bungee system to help lock in the heat at the bottom. Other jackets on this list feature a thicker bungee cord and big plastic hardware for adjustment. The Ghost Whisperer uses a thin stretchy cord and small piece of plastic hardware that's set inside of the jacket. It's lightweight considered features like this that keep the overall weight of the jacket to a minimum. The North Face Thermoball Eco Hooded Jacket is the heaviest on this list 
but don't discount it as a choice just yet. There are many reasons for this jacket's popularity. The main fill material used in this jacket is a 600 fill power synthetic eco thermoball. The outside material feels thick, like you could make a blanket out of it. Due to the lower fill power of 600, more of that insulation material needs to be used than the other 800 fill power jackets on this list. So it's a little bit heavier than the others. The great thing is this jacket is made with 100% post-consumer recycled material and no animal product is used. It's still very warm when worn as well, even with a low fill power. This jacket locks in heat with powerful elastic on the sleeves and a durable bungee at the bottom of the jacket. There are two zippered pockets on the outside and the jacket packs into the left pocket. Plus there's an interior chest pocket to keep items secure. This jacket is offered in a bunch of other colors and patterns as well. We went with flair to keep this list colors interesting. The best thing yet, even when the jacket is wet, it performs better than other goose down jackets on the list. Canadian based company Arcteryx is well known for their technical gear and apparel. Typically more on the expensive end of the spectrum, a lot of little details go into their product design to justify the price. One of the interesting things about the Cerium is the mix of fill material that they use. They use RDS certified goose down and a mixture of Korloff that they use to reinforce areas that tend to get wet. This includes the front of the collar where the wearer's mouth is, hemlines, cuffs, and other areas. Also, this is the puffiest feeling jacket on the list and it is the most compressible down jacket that Arcteryx offers. All this is wrapped up in a nylon Arado 10 fabric, which helps with weather resistance and durability. The type of fit of this jacket is trim, which cuts low profile to the body for a tailored fit. This jacket also features a zippered pocket on each side, a bungee at the bottom to help lock in the heat, and an internal chest pocket that holds a separate compression stack for packing the jacket. It attaches with a cord in a clever way and compresses very small and cylindrical. But we don't love that this requires an extra piece of kit that's easy to lose. The Outdoor Research Helium Down Jacket is the most pillow-worthy jacket on this list. While compressed, one side has a soft tricot material that makes for a comfortable place to lay your head when in a pinch. Plus, there's a nice black and white paracord with a clip that's easy to see for hanging the pouch to a carabiner or the like. In the uncompressed state, all the pockets are lined with this soft to the touch tricot material. From the two zippered side pockets to the exterior chest pocket to the two interior liner pockets. Outdoor Research manages weather resistance in a unique way. They use waterproof Pertex diamond fuse material on the hood and shoulders which is slick to the touch and somewhat structured. This helps protect the RDS certified 800 fill power down from getting wet and becoming less effective. This jacket also offers solid YKK zippers with a nice rubbery zipper pull as well and a durable bungee at the bottom to lock in the heat. We've had great luck with their Helium Rain Jacket too. Full review available over on our site. Next up, we have the Broad Peak Light In Jacket from Swiss company Mammoth. This is the lightest and smallest packing hoodless jacket on this list, coming in at 7.75 ounces. It's quite easy and quick to pack into the wearer's right pocket, and there's still little give when compressed, which makes it easy to cram into a crowded bag. Don't let the lightweight fool you though, this jacket is still quite warm. They save on weight due to leaving the bells and whistles out. There are two pockets on this jacket with no interior or chest pockets in sight. There's no elastic bungee at the bottom of the jacket like the others on this list, but it does feature some elastic material there and on the sleeves. You can wear this jacket as an outer layer and it'll work well as a mid layer too. Something to note is that the collar fits quite tightly when fully zipped up. This is good for locking in heat, but not good if you find this uncomfortable. This jacket also uses DWR coated Pertex material to help lock in the heat and help protect the RDS certified down from moisture. Lastly, we like the fluorescent orange locker loop that's easy to see against our gentian blue colorway. When I was living in New York City from the years of 2012 to 2016, I swear that every other person on the street during the winter had a Canada Goose jacket on. This was easy to spot with the iconic patches on the jackets. Canada Goose began their RDS certification in 2019 and plan to be fully RDS certified by 2021. The Canadian made high quality high bridge light has the high price tag to match and this thing has been great to wear in Michigan as the weather has been cooling off for the fall. 
The design focuses down in the areas that matter most, the chest and the back. The sides of the jacket are made up of soft elastine material that kind of feels like a cushiony microfiber. The sides and sleeves stretch, which is great for mobility when using the thumb holes. This is the only jacket on the list that offers two zipper sliders, allowing the wearer to unzip it from the bottom and the top for added ventilation. There are two zippered pockets on the sides and the jacket packs into the wearer's left. Though the loop material used to hang the compressed jacket doesn't feel as durable as others on the list. Other design details include reflectors on the collar of the jacket, a locker loop for hanging it up that's more reinforced than the pocket loop we talked about earlier, and one interior pocket on the wearer's left made of a mesh material. There's even a little pocket to tuck in the tag. So there you have it, packable puffer jackets. Why they're good, some things to consider, and eight examples of what's out there. Do you have a favorite packable puffer? If you do, please let us know what your favorite is down in the comments below. And make sure to use that promo code PackHacker15 on your first order over at backcountry.com. Thanks for keeping it here at Packhacker, your guide to better gear. We'll see you in the next video.